Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and for those of you who don't know me, my name is Kelsey. I'm a licensed cosmetologist. I love doing hair more than anything, but I just love the beauty industry, and I do a lot of videos that are related to that field. So first of all, I apologize if the quality of this video isn't as nice as my um, previous ones. The camera that I normally use is actually a camera that me and my brother share, um, because he uses it for his music um, videos, because he's into the music industry. And he's actually out in L.A. right now, and he has it with him. So I didn't want to wait for him to come back because I feel like I'll never get around to this video. So I just decided to grab my old camera, and here we are. So I decided to do a little bit of a more fun video today, or at least it's fun for me. I hope it's fun to watch. And as you guys can tell from the title of this video, this is my first cosmetology kit. And it's my first because I actually went to beauty school twice. Quick backstory on that, my first beauty school was a vocational school, which um, is a technical school that you go through during high school, um, instead of taking electives, you spend half your day at that school and then the other half your day in your regular high school. So I did that, but because the days are so short, because only half of a school day, um, I should have joined it in my sophomore year so that I had three years to get all the hours that I needed. But my sophomore year was actually the year that I moved here, and before I moved up here, I didn't even know what vocational school was. So I joined in my junior year, so I wasn't there long enough to get all of my hours. So I had to go to another school after that to get the rest of my hour. So I actually have two kits and I'll do a separate video with that kit sometime in the future. So I graduated high school back in 2011. So that was almost nine years ago. So obviously a lot of this stuff I haven't touched in a long time. Um, I pretty much just keep most of my things just because sentimental reasons like this is where my career pretty much began. You know what I mean? So I never threw anything out but most of the things that are in here I really don't use. And I actually have to actually go on a scavenger hunt through my ha my house last night to find everything because I didn't keep it all together. So it's all just tossed in the side right now. So I'll show you guys in a second what the actual kit looks like. But it's very disorganized and I can't close it right now because of how I threw everything in there. So, well, I'll kind of show you guys what it looks like right now. It's just a mess, but it's this big briefcase looking thing. And it has these straps that we could put our brushes on. But um, they never stayed there because once you closed it, everything fell out. So it was just this big open area, which like I said is a mess, but I found a way to organize it back when I was in school. But like I said, that was a long time ago. So I'm not going to go in a particular order because it's disorganized, but I'll try to kind of organize it. Well, first of all, I know what's missing. There are some things missing from here. There's a lot of things missing, but I'll get into all that. But I had three kits in this, three capes in this kit. And I can't find two of them, but it was just regular plastic capes. So one was black and one was like a hunter green. So that's not in here. And also, this kit included three mannequin heads. And I, I have all my mannequins, but because I went to school twice, I actually have ten mannequins total. So I don't remember which three are from this school, but they were like your basic mannequin heads. In fact, I'll go grab one. So this is the only one that I have down here, and she's a mess, because I was actually testing a hairspray, a hair, what do you call it? Those spray on hair colors, I was testing it in her hair, and she has weird makeup on right now, if you can see. But this is one of them, so this is basically what your mannequin head looks like. It's like a doll head, except she has a full scalp of hair. Like, normally dolls have, like, patches of hair, but, oh, well, I have some braids in her also. <laughs> she's a mess. And this one doesn't even have a name. Some of them have... Oh, this is definitely for my second school because it's a Wella mannequin. So, anyways, this is what your, this is what a mannequin head looks like. By the way, I, if I keep going like this, like looking around the camera and not like at you guys, it's because what I don't like about this camera is it has no flip screen, so I have a mirror set up behind it. So I keep looking behind to see, to make sure everything is still in the frame and um, focused. So, let's get into this kit. So first of all, I'll show you guys my books. So when I went to this school, we just got three books. So this is the textbook that we got. And I don't know if it's pronounced My Lady or Milady. That's the name right there. But this is what the textbooks used to look like. Um, the textbooks, if you're in beauty school now or if you were in it currently, like recently, it would look, the cover looks different now, but the inside pages are still all the same. But I just know that because of the second school I went to, we got the same exact textbook, but they got a new cover. But, I mean, I can't really like go through the whole book, obviously, but this was the textbook. And then I got two workbooks that look like this. 
So one is, this is a theory workbook and this is practical and theory is basically not the hands-on stuff. So like the formulas and like the science behind doing hair and beauty. And then this is the practical is like all your hands-on. So I hated doing this book because we would have to write it like full procedures sometimes and it would be a lot of writing but you know, it is what it is. And also the school I went to, I remember if you left one thing blank, you got a zero on the entire assignment. So, yeah. But yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of writing in here. It's very hard to get white to focus on this camera, but yeah, a lot of work. But it was fun because I loved it. On to the actual kit stuff. Obviously, we got a ton of combs and brushes. So I don't remember how many of every comb we got, but this is your hair cutting comb. It's just a straight across comb. It has wider teeth on one half and finer on the second half. And it has, I know it's not going to focus, but there's little tiny numbers indented into it for, cause you kind of use it as a ruler and it has the inches on it. But yeah, we got, I think we had like six or eight of these combs in this kit. This comb, this is like a multi-purpose comb. I can't remember if this is from this kit or my second kit. So I'm just going to put it in both videos. But I have three of these combs total, so I really don't remember where they came from. This is the one comb we got like this. It's like, uh, it's a, um, a rat tail comb. So this side is sort of parting here, and then it was this one. It was like this, and then this is like a thicker one, and then we got a couple black ones that were thinner. So the teeth were finer, and the tail was thinner but I can't find any of those but we got a lot of those and then just one of this one and then I remember this was the only pin tail comb that I had and I call it it's called pin tail because it's like this little metal pin and I like this for braiding more than those combs but these this is actually for doing highlights because you can bend you can fold the foil over it I remember I have to buy a new one of these because I actually melted my first one underneath a curling iron because I didn't know that not all combs or heat resistant and this one's kind of melted too but you can't really see it's barely like over there where it's kind of messed up is because it's melted one thing I liked about this school that I went to was everything that was in our kit was also for sale at the school so we could always just buy back stuff whenever we lost it and it was a lot cheaper than you would buy in the store like I remember all cones were 25 cents our flat iron was $14 the blow dryer was $14 like it was all cheap stuff this is another comb that we got and this actually came with our clippers I lost the kit that has our, our clippers in it but it came with this comb that we never I don't remember ever using this comb but it was there and then speaking of clippers these were the clippers that I got but like I said I lost a kit for it so I have three other attachments besides this one this is a number two attachment and this one had colorful attachments I remember there was a brown one a blue one and some other color but yeah so these were our clippers I don't think these work anymore but these suck like they're okay but they can't survive a fall like at so many kids destroyed theirs just from dropping it once I luckily got mine to last a whole year but they don't work anymore if I remember I think it just turns on but the blades don't um, vibrate anymore so it doesn't it doesn't do anything this is another comb that I don't remember ever using it but it's for like fluffing up hair like when you did like a roller set and you brush it out we would use it to fluff it up or like after teasing hair and you would fluff it out a little bit so that's what that was for and it had these little teeth on the end okay so we got a lot of clips and I actually don't have a single clip from this original kit but there are butterfly clips like this but it's not this shape like if you know hair clips basically there's another one where it's like more square so we got a pack of those and they were just black and white so this is the only black clip I could find in my whole house because I always buy colorful clips so I just happened to find this one in my room the other day and I was like perfect because I knew I wanted to do this video for a while. I remember we got this brush. This is a nylon brush. I remember we had three of these. This is the only one that I could find and as you can see it's messed up. But yeah, we had three of those. I think these were like 50 cents if I remember properly. And then this brush, I can't remember which kit this was from. I think it's from my second kit but I'm not positive so I just put it in here. I'll just put it in both videos, but it's just a, a bore bristle. Ooh, it is dusty. It's a bore bristle round brush. But I'm almost positive it's from my second kit, but oh well, you'll just see it twice. I'm trying to get all my combs together, so it's somewhat of an organized video. Oh, this is another one. This is our detangling comb. 
I love this comb curl. It's good for detangling thicker hair. But now that I've been doing hair for a while, I realize that this isn't the best detangling comb. I mean, it depends on what hair type, but I like the ones that are a little bit wider than this. And then we also got these round brushes for blow drying hair. So we got three of them, and they're these vented round brushes. I don't really like these brushes. I find that the bristles are a little too soft to even grip the hair. I might use it... I mean, I still use them actually sometimes for like really, really fine hair or like weak hair that can't handle the pulling. But for the most part, I find that they're just a little bit too soft. I wish they were a little bit stiffer, but, um, you know, it's school stuff, so it is what it is. I'm pretty sure they just got it the cheapest of whatever they can to make the, chip, the kit affordable. But, I don't know. This little one I don't think I've ever used, but I like it because it has a point in the bottom so you can separate the hair. But... I don't think I ever used it. Okay, so that's all that I could find with combs and brushes. I know I had another brush. It looked like the little nylon brush that I showed you guys, the little tiny one. It was like this size, but it was like... Uh, let me grab another one. I'll show you what I'm talking about. It might actually be this one now that I think about it, because I don't use this one either, so I might just be keeping this for sentimental reasons, but it's a brush like this, like, I'm not sure, but it was like a vented brush with like the harder um, bristles, and it would be like for combing out wet hair or something, so it was like that, and I remember we only had one. Okay, so we're going to move on from that for now, because I think that's all the comb. So anyway, we also got color bowls and brushes. I know I'm missing some brushes. So this was the bowl that we got except it was black. Um, this is my second kit but it's the same exact one but my black one that came with this kit I actually let someone in my second school borrow it and then she moved away without ever giving it back. But I mean it's just a color bowl, it's whatever. Um, but it was a bowl like this. It came with this brush and which I, I use a lot. And then these two that I don't think I ever use. So it's a skinny color brush. And then this one oh, with a comb on the other side. We never use this one. We ever, never even learned what the point of the comb was. Even though I'm guessing it's to like comb through color, you know. But we never used it in school. But it was that. So it came with that. And it also came with two clips that I don't think we ever used either. Where are they? See what I mean? This is such a disorganized video. Well, it's a disorganized kit. Here they are. So it came with these two clips that we use a lot when we're doing highlights to clip the foils out of the way. So I found two more combs. So one is this teasing comb and it's for teasing hair and then the pick at the end is for like picking up the hair afterwards. And then I found this comb, which I remember we had a ton of and it's Similar to the hair cutting comb, but it's a little bit rounder, and there's no numbers on it, and this was just a multi-purpose comb. But I don't remember ever having a cause for these, but I remember we had a lot of these in our kit. So now I guess I'll just go to more random things. So in this kit, we each got our own set of rollers. And I remember I was always proud of myself from the way I stored my rollers. So they came in this cardboard box thing, and it was shrink-wrapped. So um, it wasn't an actual case, so what... Um, a lot of students did like they gave us these little tiny garbage bags and we'll just throw our rollers in there And then you'll just leave in your locker rather than in your kit because once you throw it into a bag It's not gonna fit nicely But I was so proud of myself for having this brilliant idea of just leaving it in the box and just putting it in a ziplock bag And I remember everybody was always so impressed with my idea. and I just felt like so smart that I did that It's not that serious, but it's those little things that you know it's a little thing that makes me feel special and smart, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, so this is a whole set of rollers. And they're mostly full-size ones except for... The ones on this roll right here, they're all half-size. So basically you have full rolls here and then we got these little half ones. So besides that, we also got perm rods. And this plastic case was actually what my color bowl and brushes came in, but we all used them, or I think most of us did, we used them for our perm rods, because all of our perm rods came in like packs of 12, so we would just open them out and we would just have a ton of packs of perm rods, so we just put them all in here for doing perm wraps. This is for like, 
for those of you who don't know, this is like doing a curly perm. You wrap the hair on them, and then you put the perm solution, then the hair comes out curly. It's more to it than that, but that's basically it. And they come in bigger sizes than these, but we just got the first five sizes, which is blue through white. So every color is a different size, and that's like a universal thing. Same thing with rollers. The sizes are pretty, the colors are pretty universal to their size. So next, I think I'll get into the hot tools. Okay, so this is like an archive item for me. This is actually my very first flat iron. Before I went to beauty school, I never earned, I never owned a flat iron and I never owned a curling iron so this is all my first stuff right here so this is my very first flat iron and I hate it even when I had it I hate it even though I never had one before I knew that this curling I mean this flat iron was horrible first of all the shape of it I can't stand the shape of it like why is it this round I don't get it I just I don't understand that second it's very it, you get a lot of fatigue from using it because the springs are a little too strong, I feel like. So your hand gets really tired from it, in my opinion. I just felt like it was just too... It wasn't good. Also, the shape is horrible. <laughs> it's so bulky, you could never, ever, ever get roots with this iron. Also, the plates, as you can see, they're really dirty, but that might be my fault because I just didn't know how to properly clean them because I never had a flat iron. And I think I just never wiped it off when I was done using them. I just let the grease and whatever sit on it and dry. Now I know that as soon as I'm done, I always take a damp cloth and just like run it through it really quick so nothing sticks on it. But also, what I hated most about this curling iron, I mean, it's not a curling iron, it's a flat iron. It's so round, how can you tell? But I hated that there is no temperature setting on this. So I don't know how hot this thing gets to this day. I don't know when it's as hot as it could be, like when it's reached its hottest temperature. Like you just don't know because there's no setting on it. It just has this little on and off switch right there. That's it. And also this switch is in a terrible spot because it's right here where either if you're holding it like this, your fingers are right on top of it or if I'm holding it upside down, my thumb is right there. So there has been so many times I've accidentally turned it off while I was using it and I didn't even know because... It's just when my hands rested, and I won't be able to tell until I see the hair's not getting straight, and I'll be like, what's wrong with this hair? Why isn't it straightening out anymore? And then I'll look, and it's off. So I have to turn it back on, and then again, I don't know when it's as hot as it should be. I don't know how hot it's getting. You just kind of play it by air. So I hated that. And also, I just hate how it's shaped. Like, what is that? What happened to the nice, sleek, rectangular shape of flat iron? Like, what is this? I don't know. I just don't like the shape. Like, what is that? So next we have these two flat irons. I don't know what brand this is. Oh, Helen of Troy. I've never heard of that. But these curling irons also suck. Because, again, there's no temperature setting. But at least this one says high and low, so you've got that. But again, you can't... You don't know how hot it is. And from what I remember, they didn't get too hot either. But they did get the job done for the most part. I don't remember what size they are. I think this is a quarter inch and this is a half inch, if I'm not mistaken. But... I was not a fan of it and also they don't rotate very well in your hand like I feel like this section is too big so it doesn't fit in the palm of your hand as nice as I would like it to but like I said it's my first curling iron and I made it work but I've never used these since I left school like they suck but then we also got this curling iron which I love and I still use it to this day I don't know how big this is I want to say it's an inch but I feel like it might be a little bigger but it's really big, but I'm actually really comfortable using it. And it's heavy, but it's comfortable. Like, I like the handle, how skinny it is. So, like, it just rotates so easy in my palm. I love that. And, get this, guys. There's a temperature setting. You can set it to the temperature, and it goes up to 450. And I know that because I can see that. That's my favorite thing about this iron. And then also you can lock the handle if you want so that it's not um, constantly spinning if you don't like that. But I just like to have it rotating so it's so nice. I love this iron and I like this brand. I already knew about the brand Hot Tools because I had a blow dryer like this. But even without that I just I just like how this curling iron works. I like how it feels. It's like probably one of the only things from this kit that I still use to this day. So now onto my blow dryer. I don't know... If I have the attachments in here, oh, I have one of them. Wow, it's still in the plastic. That's crazy. I never took it out of the plastic. 
but I had another attachment that I used. But anyway, this is the blow dryer that we got with this kit, but this actually isn't mine from this kit. This is mine from my second kit because coincidentally, I got the same blow dryer twice. The first blow dryer I had from this kit actually got stolen. It's so sad, but... Sorry, I just got distracted. I just noticed how much I'm kind of blending it with this background. <laughs> anyway, it's so sad, but it's so common for things to get stolen in beauty school. It's like a trend, and I don't know why. But I remember I lost this blow dryer while I was working on a client with it. I walked away for a second, and I came back, and it was gone. And in the school, we had an engraver to engrave all of our supplies. So, like, if someone stole something, they couldn't use it in the school again because you could see that someone else's name is on it. So, it was li literally just stolen to bring home. So I had to buy a new one. Like I said, in this school we could buy everything right there. But they didn't have any more of that blow dryer. So I ended up with this one from Champion. And I don't remember if I liked the blow dryer or not. I don't remember how hot it was or whatnot. But I remember I hated that this attachment came with it. It was the only one that it came with. And you snap it on and it snaps on easily. But it never tightens. Like it just... It does not tighten. So... It was very annoying when I had it on here and it like keep turning. Oh wow, or falling off. I guess it doesn't snap on well. I don't. It was just a very lousy. It was a poorly designed attachment, so I didn't like that. But this blow dryer, I know I do like it because even to this day, I like how hot it gets and how powerful it is. I just don't like how it looks because it's very cheap. Because when we first got it, it was like this bright silverish looking shine on it but it just rubs off and that's why there's so much black on it like all over here it's black and where your hands go it's turning black so it had a nice chrome finish but it doesn't it doesn't last so that sucks but that was that was the blow dryer that came with this kit i'm almost out of hair stuff that was fast so now i guess everything's like random stuff so we got this applicator bottle. I'm not sure if this is the one that came with this kit, but it's an applicator bottle. Very basic. Uh, it's not focusing. But I actually have a label on here that says Perm Solution because I carried this to my state board. So this is my Perm Solution, like my mock Perm Solution, just to show them how you do Perm. So, But that's what this came with. I remember the one, if this is the one that came with the kit, we never used it. It was just in the kit, but we never touched it. Also, we got this hairnet, which is what you put on when you do rollers. You just put on over the roller so they stay on while they're under the dryer. Oh, and then I have my scissors. So this was a case that our, our shares came in. It's called, well, it says Gold Magic Professional. And then this is what it looks like on the inside. So these are the regular shares. These were the texturizing shares, which is for thinning out thick hair. And then this is just a hair cutting comb I had in here, which is broken, as you can see. And then my razor is right there. Then we also got this box of um, end papers, which is for the perm wraps. You always wrap the end of their hair in these little thin sheets of paper. It's like tissue paper, except it doesn't wear away when it gets wet. And it's just to protect the ends of their hair whenever you're wrapping them in the perm rods. So I remember we had a dozen of these clips. I, I use these clips, so I, I just have them on my station over there somewhere but we I remember we got a dozen of these I can't figure out how to show you guys the best but yeah it's like a duckbill clip like that but they're metal and then we had a box full of these pin curl clips which is actually for rollers but these aren't the proper clips for rollers because roller clips have like an indent that the roller would slide into these don't have that so they don't lay nicely on your head this is more for like just pinning curls but we use them for rollers and then this is a random pick that we also never used yeah just a hair pick so that's it for the hair stuff oh and i have a cape so like i said i still have one cape and this is like a really short cape but it was called a cobbler cape i don't know exactly what the purpose is but because i never use capes this short in the real world so it was just in our kit, but it was very convenient for our mannequin, so that's that. This, this is my manicure kit, so we got this. And there's no writing on it. But this is what it looks like when you open it up. The nail clippers, I think I replaced them. I think the ones that came with this broke, but this is what it looks like. And in this section right here, there should be tweezers, but I don't know where they went. But I do remember that the tweezers sucked also. Like, they couldn't pick up any hair, so... I didn't like them, so I don't know what I did with them. 
But that's that. I still use this kit to this day also, especially these scissors right there. I use them for trimming eyebrows. But yeah, it's a pretty good kit. And also, we got this. I actually had to put this back together because I use this case to this day and I use it for my needles and my thread for when I'm doing sew-ins. So I had to empty it just to make this video. So I had to dig through my nail polish to find the ones that came with this. And luckily I still have the plastic in here that holds it all up. But that's what it looks like. I'm missing something but I can't tell what it is. I think it was a base coat that we had. But these were the four nail polish colors that we got. Not a fan of any of them, really. Well, kind of, but this pink, I think, is so ugly. But these were the colors. And then this one is labeled nail polish because I also brought that to skateboards, and you have to label everything, no matter how obvious it was. So even though it's obviously nail polish, I had to write nail polish. And I had to do it with my base coat on top coat also. So we got those four colors. And then this is a cuticle remover, which, ooh, it's not going to focus because it's white, but I also have a label. That says cuticle remover, so I guess I brought that to skateboards also. And then this is a ridge filler, so if people have dents in their nails, you would paint it with this first to kind of fill those ridges, and then you paint over it. And then we each got this cute little bottle that had nail polish remover in it. If I remember correctly, the nail polish remover that came with this wasn't good, but it didn't matter because it was so little that you used it all out right away anyway. And again, it's one of those things that we already had in the school, so we didn't need to use this. But I always just liked having a little bottle. So I remember I always would refill it with my own nail polish remover just because I like the bottle so much. Like I said, there's another bottle in here that's missing because there's eight spots for bottles in here. So I'm missing, I think it was a base coat and top coat like combination thing. So besides that, we got some nail files. I'm not sure. I know this came with this kit, but I remember we had larger ones and we had three of them, but I don't know where they are. I probably threw them out because they were all disposable. And then we also got three of these spatulas. And then since we're on the topic of nails, we also got a separate kit, and this was for all of our acrylic stuff, which I haven't opened in forever, but everything in this thing, well not everything, but the powder that comes with it is really, really bad. Like, the one that's supposed to be clear, it is not clear at all. <sighs> but for those of you who don't know or have never gotten acrylic nails done, um, the acrylic is actually made from a powder and a liquid, and when you make, mix it together, it gets hard and makes the nails, so you have to actually mold it and form it while it's wet. But the powder that we got, it wasn't clear, so you would try and do, like, French, and it will be so ugly. But I'm not going to go through everything in this kit, because it's just a lot of supplies, like, you know, there's the different powders and the liquid and bonding agents and stuff. But it's it's just, like, all, like, just jammed together in there. Oh, I dropped something. But it's just random stuff, like, we have brush cleaner, um, we had a buffer block, this was for cutting tips, and this is not sharp at all. Um, this is a dehydrator, because you have to dehydrate your nail so that everything sticks on. Um, this is one of the powders. I think this is, oh, this is a pink powder, but this also was another issue. See, it's not going to focus, but it's supposed to be pink, but it's like an ugly yellowish color. I don't know. It looks like as if this stuff was sitting there for a while and it got old, but that's how they gave it to us. And then the last thing that I have in here is our makeup kit. So this was the makeup that we got. This also was something that broke. Oh, is it broken right now? I think it's broken. I don't know if I want to open it. So I remember the one I had in school, it broke and I had to buy another one, which happened to all of us. And I guess, oh yeah, this is so broken, but it looks like that. There's different eyeshadows, and then you can pull it apart, and there's, like, I don't even remember. There's, like, lipsticks down here. These four colors are lipstick, and then up here is more eyeshadow. And then there was a little eyeliner mascara that came with it, and this makeup is horrible, and I'm just so ashamed of myself when I think about how when I first got this kit, I thought it was, like, so cool and so beautiful, because I didn't know makeup like that, but... This stuff is so cheap, it doesn't show up at all, and the colors are so ugly, and it's... I know makeup palettes are usually pretty fragile, but this is, like, extra fragile. And it was only $6. <laughs> I remember that I had to buy it back, and it has the price right there. It was $6. But, I mean, it's school stuff, and for some reason, they always give you cheap stuff in kits. I don't know why, but they do. But, yeah, so that's everything. I still... I didn't completely empty it. I put some stuff back in here, but this is what the kit looked like. <laughs> 
so that was really it so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed that and like i said i'm gonna do a second video with my second kit um that kit was a little bit bigger so it's gonna take me a while to get all that stuff together and also to remember what was part of it but sometime in the future i will be doing a video of my second kit but i hope you guys enjoyed this little walk down memory lane with me and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye